Hello everyone, this is Amir, back for another Easy VSL4 demo. Um, in, the, in the last demo, we did the kinetic style videos. Um, and in this, so that was over here, or the live action video, technically. Um, and this, in this demo, we're going to do the create new kinetic video, the kinetic video which as you can see is perfect for creating videos that pack a punch with eye-popping textual effects. Um, as I mentioned in the first video, the very first option is the classic VSL, which is basically the format that e Easy VSL came out with approximately 10 years ago now when they, when they launched this product for the first time. Um, and the longevity of this brand kind of speaks to how successful Easy VSL has been. Um, it, you know, as I mentioned previously, uh, this is my first, this is the first demo that I've done on any product in over a year. I have a full time job. Um, I'm not pushing reviews on anyone just to get, you know, commissions and stuff like that. I'm only, at this point in my life, in my career, I only talk about programs that, that I actually want to use myself. Um, and that I actually believe in. And this is one of them because it, it, it allows users to create a very engaging and powerful type of video with ease, as you will see in this demo. So let's get started. We're gonna use the same script that I used last time, um, but we're going to do a kinetic typography video. So I'm gonna start. You, know, you can start from scratch. If you do not have a script, you can copy and paste your script and you can upload a voice over and use AI to transcribe your voice over. This is actually, so this is actually really cool. Maybe I should do this in my next demo, but if you have a voice over, okay, you can just upload that and easy VSL will create the script in step one and two for you, which by just transcribing what you've said in that audio file. So since we're not using a, a, a narrative, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my written script here. And what we do for that, you know, when, when you write your script with Easy VSL, I recommend breaking it up line by line because the way e Easy VSL is set up, uh, as you see when I paste it here, each line will be a separate slide, as it says right there. So if you do that in advance, you'll make it a lot easier for yourself. Okay, now you create the kinetic template. So as you can see, you have a lot of options here, a lot of, and notice the, the coloring, the, the contrast of the colors here. This is meant to engage your viewers. You can see how in each one of these, really, you have a pretty sharp contrast uh, between the foreground and the background. So I am going to select, I'll go with this one, template number 10. And now you can see how EasyVSL has broken this down for me. I can edit this if I would like. Uh, basically each slide can have, is gonna have three lines for the text, but you can choose how the words are displayed on each line. I'm going to pause the video and do that and then come back because you know, I don't want you to have to watch me do something boring like this in real time. So let's go ahead and pause and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and made some edits. It's not perfect um, due to what I've learned that there's a character limitation for each line. Uh, the middle line apparently has more of a character limitation than the top and bottom line of each slide, which is something, something to point out. I'm sure there's a stylistic reason for that, that the uh, programmers made it that way. I mean, again, these guys have been doing it for a long time, so I have faith in the way they designed Easy VSL 4. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be editing our slides. Okay, so it's going to prepare the slides. It's, since this is pretty fast, I won't pause the video. We'll just wait for this to finish uh, in real time. Give you a good idea of how quickly it works as well. Um, but here is where I, it really gets fun. Um, now, now you can already see, you see how good that looks? Now we're gonna have this plus, now just imagine putting this on a web page. It's probably hard to imagine now, 
because um, we don't have the sound. We don't have you know we don't have the audio yet, the, but but we're getting there. In fact, we can already move on to the next step. All right, this part might take a little longer, so I'll pause and come back. Well, actually, yeah, I'll pause it. I'll pause it. All right, we're back. Um, I probably didn't need to pause it because it ended up processing pretty dang fast. Like I said, this is where we get to choose our background music. So let's start off by, um, I want to find the one that I used last time because I liked it. It was called Ectomorph. Oops. Oh, I did the right thing. It said add audio. So you're going to probably hear it um, in a moment. Okay, so that's the music I'm going to use. Now, key thing to point out, because I messed up on this in my last video, all right? By default, EasyVSL will only put down your first slide. Now, you have to go in and add the rest of your slides, all right? In the first video, I didn't do that, and as a result, I only ended up with one slide. This time, we're going to do it the right way. Um, let's try this auto sync. Let's see what happens. Automatically, I don't know, this is for voiceover. Okay, we don't want to do this. So what this is, is actually, I'm glad I clicked on it though. If you have a voiceover, this will automatically sync up your narrative, your voiceover, with the video. Since we're doing audio only, this doesn't apply to us. But what I am going to do, see I'm going to make each slide shorter in duration. Um, all right, so I will be right back. All right, so there's a couple ways you can do this, and I'm going to do it for the first few slides just to show you and then pause it. Um, as you go and re watch your, your slideshow in real time, you can set the slide. And I'm just going to show you because I obviously can't really explain it. But I already did that with the first, uh, the second slide, which is slide two. So follow along. What I'm basically doing here is every five seconds is what I determined to do. I'm going to add a new slide. And if I don't like where I added any slide, if you see this resizing uh, uh, marker here with my mouse icon, um, you can change it afterwards. You can also change the overall duration, all kinds of stuff. But follow along with me real quick. I'm not going to take too long doing this, but I just want to show you how to add the slides to your video. Slideshow, I should say. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, so I went ahead when I was paused there, I went ahead and did the uh, counted to five for each slide and just simply clicked on add slide. The cool thing is as you go, it'll kind of take you through and it'll, um, it'll show you which slide is next, basically by brightening up the icon to add slide. Now, one thing, another thing to point out though is when you're done adding your final slide, look how I have all this extra time. So we're going to find out where we are in this presentation. It looks like this could be uh, about the one minute mark. So I'm going to simply change the duration to one minute. Okay. You want to make sure this is right so you don't cut out it into your actual slideshow. Then you're going to say update. And as you can see, it changed the duration right there to one minute. So at one minute, it's actually, even though you see all of this here, it's actually going to stop right there at one minute. So from there, I can go ahead and safely publish. Again, we don't have a narrative, but if I did, I would have added that and synced it up too. I mean, there's there's really so many so many things you can do with Easy VSL. Now, I'm going to save my video. And I'm going to keep the name New Demo, um, highest quality. Um, and then I'm going to click publish and then we're going to pause and come back when we're done publishing the video. Oh, destination is required. So I'm going to go ahead and do this offline real quick. It right, looks like we're almost done with the process. So I kind of wanted to come back a little before it finished just to show you total progress, hundred percent. Now comes the fun part. We're going to open the video, 
quickly watch what we created very quickly with Easy VSL. And here we go. Hopefully everything worked properly. Here it is. There's the slide switch. It looks like it's doing it just exactly the way that I programmed it. Um, we don't have to watch the whole thing, obviously. You see how it's working out. It looks great. Looks engaging. There's ESL Easy VSL 4 for you. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you watched today, if you could see how easy it was for us to create these engaging VSL, aka video sales letters, there is a link below this video um, to purchase Easy VSL. If you purchase through my link, I will earn a commission and I would really appreciate it too. As it turns out, Quick story, it turns out with the two videos I published previously, I used the wrong affiliate link. So I had like almost 300 views and zero clicks. So that was kind of a bummer because I put in the work for that and got nothing out of it. Now I do have the right link. I'm hoping I can make a little something out of this. Again, it's not something I do very often. I have a full-time job. This is my first video in a year. But nothing else. I do appreciate you watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I may be coming back for another video, Easy VSL video with the voice narrative as I mentioned. We'll see how it goes, um, you know, depending on my full-time job and then how much time I have to do that. But thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and have a wonderful day.